This three minute video looks at two examples of differentiating from first principles. To differentiate from first principles, what we are doing is we're finding the value of this limit for a function. This relates to the secant of a function or the slope of the function over a small change in x. To evaluate this, we follow what's in the formula. So we're going to work out what f of x plus h is. We're going to subtract f of x from this that's the original function, then we're going to divide this by h, and then we're going to let h equal to 0 to see what happens to the value of the function. So to differentiate from first principles, you would have to know this formula by heart and use it to evaluate the limit. Let's look at example 1 first. Okay, we're given that f of x is 4x minus 5. We're going to work out f of x plus h. This means putting in x plus h instead of x. So we'll expand this. Now we're going to work out of f of x plus h take away f of x. So this is f of x plus h take away everything we started off with. So we'll just be left with 4h when we do this. We we'll take away 4x minus 5 from 4x plus h minus 5. So it's anything new that we've added in the second step. Now we want to divide this by h. We see h goes into h once. So this equals to 4. And lastly, we want to write out our limit as h goes to 0 of fx plus h minus f of x all over h. So basically, the limit as 4. But since 4 doesn't contain a h, it's not affected by h. So the answer is just 4. This limit is equal to the derivative of f of x. So f dash of x is 4. Our second example is a quadratic example. If f of x is equal to x squared plus 1, we want to work out f of x plus h. So substitute x with x plus h. We multiply x plus h by x plus h. Now our next step is we want to take away everything we started off with. So it's f of x plus h minus f of x. So the new parts of our second line are just written down here. We now want to divide each part here by h. When we do, we're left with 2x plus h. And lastly, we want to write out what our limit is as h goes to 0 of this expression. So the 2x is not affected by the h, but the h goes to 0, so the answer is just 2x. So the derivative of f of x is 2x. That's from first principles.